Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Dental Cafe. So today we are going to discuss about the Andrews Bridge Affix and Removable Prosthesis Part 2. Part 1 was already discussed. I'll share a link. Okay then, let's begin with the steps in fabrication of Andrews Bridge. In the continuation of Part 1. The first step is the diagnostic impression and the cast. Look at the figure. We have a, we have taken a diagnostic impression, pour the cast and the diagnostic mounting was done. You can see in this diagnostic mounting, we have an interior bone loss. It means we have a vertical loss, loss in the hide. So this is fallen seaward class 2. As I already told you, told you there is a loss in the height but with remain maintained. So this is a classic example of Seabird class 2. Step is tooth preparation and the final cast. So look at the figure. We have done a tooth preparation of abutment and this is we have a final master cast. This is a first master cast. In this case we have a two master cast and a two master impression. So this is a first master cast. Step is the wax pattern fabrication and the bar attachment. So. As you can see in the figure, we have a castable plastic bar. We have to leave a 2 to 3 mm space between the bar and the ridge. And this bar is attached to the wax pattern which is fabricated for abutment. So the wax pattern were fabricated on the abutment teeth and will connect a prefabricated castable plastic bar to the wax pattern. We will leave a 2 to 3 mm of space between the bar and the Right. So that the self cleaning of the area will. Plastic bar is castable bar. So with the with the casting of abutment, this bar is also casted in the same way. From uh, where we get this bar? If we notice that I am talking about the uh, one kit in from the beginning of the video. So from from that kit kit we get this bar. Name of the kit is Sika. Pressy Horex Bar Attachment Kit. In this kit, we have a various component available. Available. So first one, we have a plastic castable bar, which is attached to the wax pattern for casting. Then we have a plastic yellow retentive sleeves. Then we have a metal housing. Under the metal housing, plastic yellow retentive sleeves will, will go. Then we have a plastic green clip and then we have an insertional tool. This plastic green sleeves is used to create a space for the pickup of the metal housing and the plastic yellow retentive sleeves in the final denture. And this insertion tool is used for the placement of the green, green clip and the uh, plastic yellow sleeves now the fourth step is metal trial of retainer with bar so look at the figure we have a metal uh, trial of retainer and which is connected with the help of bar after trial of uh, metal metal with bar we'll do a slam ceramic layering of the retainer and then cementation of retainer with bar will done so in the next step, cementation of retainer with bar done. As you can see in the figure, we uh, will cement the retainer along with the bar. Here you have a choice. Either you will make a second final impression with the retainer or either you can first cement the retainer and then you will make a final impression. It's all up to you. The fifth step is final impression with bar. As I told you, it's up to you. Either you will make impression with the bar or without the bar. But if you are making an impression with the bar, then after making an impression, you will remove the bar and then pour the impression. And if you are taking an impression without bar, mean after cementation of bar, then you can pour the impression just after taking an impression. After taking an impression, we are going to remove the retainer with bar and then we will pour the Cast. This is we. This is a second final impression we are taking with uh, a silicone. Then this is a second uh, master cast for RPD fabrication. As you can see, in this impression we have a cast with retainer and bar. 
on the trine of the rpd as you can see in the mouth we'll uh, for make a occlusal rim and then do a teeth arrangement as in the conventional rpd and then try the rpd all the step in the fabrication of rpd are same as that of the conventional but up to de-waxing after de-waxing the steps are different uh, after de-waxing the plastic green clip provided in the Prissy Horex attachment kit were placed on the bar at appropriate position. Waxing what we'll do is a green plastic clip are placed on the bar uh, bar impression on the cast because it will provide the space for the yellow clip at the time of pickup. Look at the figure. We have a plastic green clip in the first figure and in the second figure you can see plastic green clip were placed on the bar okay we'll place this plastic green clip on the bar to create the space for the plastic yellow retentive sleeve for pickup in the final denture in the next we have a plastic yellow sleeves and the metal housing uh, to this, uh, so we'll place this green clip to create the space for the pickup of the metal housing and the plastic yellow retentive sleeves. This plastic green clip is placed after the de-waxing done and then the entire procedure will be same as the conventional. This is the only difference in the conventional and uh, fabrication of RPD and in for Andrews bridge cases. The next step is the pickup of the housing. This is the image of the final prosthesis, removable prosthesis after pickup. As you can see in the figure, we have a plastic yellow retentive sleeves and we have a metal housing. And under the metal housing, plastic yellow retentive sleeves will be placed. To pick up the housing, we'll uh, place the clip or attach the clip to the bar attachment and then pick up in the self care acrylic resin into the RPD. So with the help of self care acrylic resin, we will pick up the uh, sleeves or the clip. And this is the final RPD in which we have a both fixed part and the removable part. And that is why it is called fixed removable prosthesis. Now the advantages of Andrews bridge system is the first one is the Andrews bridge, bridge has both fixed and the removable prosthesis. It will help helpful in its restoring function aesthetics speech and if there is any defect like rich defect so this is good for closure of that defect without any surgical procedure second it provide maximum aesthetic and optimum phonetics because in in andrews bridge cases there is a more supporting tissue loss there is a jaw defect so it provide maximum aesthetic and optimum phonetics and you can easily maintain a hygiene because removable part is easily removed by the um, removed by the patient and maintain the hygiene around the abutments. Yeah, it's a fixed removable prosthesis, so it is more stable than RPD because we are doing a pickup in this cases. So with the help of uh, housing, it will uh, fix over the bar, so it is more stable than the RPD. And yeah, perception of taste is maintained. Um, because uh, this this is retained by the bar retainer because the removal process is retained by the bar retainer so there is a uh, there is no requirement of the denture flanges so the perception of taste will maintain Medical correction of defect is an expensive treatment plan so this is an advantage of andrews bridge because you do not require any surgical correction it is an expensive treatment plan you for for uh, rich defect you require surgical correction placement of grafts or either placement of implants so either doing all these you can just give an andrews bridge to so compare to the surgical option this is in cheapest option uh, part of a prosthesis is removable because patient is somewhat more adjustable to the fixed prosthesis as compared to the fixed or removable because part is a uh, in fixed and removable processes we have a one part is removable though it is fixed over the bar it is not that unstable but still patient psychology teeth with large and vital pulp are often at risk high technical expertise is also required very important point 
Andrews Bridge will require a high technical expertise. Expensive and time consuming as compared to conventional FPD. It will be time consuming and it, it is expensive because the kit we are using in Andrews Bridge system is expensive. So con uh, compared to the conventional FPD, it is expensive. I hope this video is helpful for you to understand what is Andrews Bridge system and what is the indication and the contra indication. If you want more such kind of video, do comment on comment section. And yeah, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for the latest update.